So are you thinking about remodeling your home? If you want to stop dreaming and start the project, then listen up. We're going to tell you what you should do and what you should avoid so that you can get the best return on your investment. That's right. Rachel Schwab is with the Equitable Bank. She's going to tell us more. Good to see you. Good to see you guys. Great to see you. Absolutely. Everybody wants to know where to put their money. Do you put it here? Do you put it there? So let's kind of break it down. These are what to do's and what to avoids, as Molly said. So number one, kitchen and bath remodels. Yeah, you definitely can't go wrong with a kitchen and a bath remodel. So um, always good. They're always good. The caveat there is don't get too crazy. Think about what the houses look like in your neighborhood. And we've talked about that with any anything you do to your houses. Um, you don't want to be so much more extravagant than anything else in your neighborhood and, and the houses that are like yours because you won't get your return. So quick question. Every home improvement show you watch, the powder room is like super unique with a really cool like, you know, wallpaper and, and really interesting. Is that something that you think people like? Well, yeah, I mean, but you have to consider like your taste. When you yeah. actually go to sell your house, um, you're going to do things that are very neutral and mm -hmm. where other people can see themselves living in there. But if you're going to live in that house for the next 10 years and you want to update the bathroom and go a little wild, well, then have at it. You do but you. But just know that when you do go to sell, then you might need to tone it down a bit. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yeah, more space always seems like a good idea, but there are probably rooms or certain areas where you add more space that are going to pay off more than others, right? Right, and it's you need to be smart about where you add space and where you take away uh, space to add to it. And uh, you had teased it earlier on the show talking about uh, making a master closet or a master um, master using bath, a using, a other spa using a spare bedroom. Um, generally, they don't recommend you do that. Realtors and um, other housing professionals don't recommend that because the more bedrooms you yes. have, the better. Mm -hmm. So if you have a four-bedroom house and you take one away to make a closet or a bathroom, a master and suite is, is gorgeous and it's nice, but it's, it's really going to devalue your home. Mm -hmm. What about curb appeal in general and outdoor space? Um, that's always important. You yeah. know, if it when someone's driving past your house, I mean, that's the first impression, mm -hmm. if you will, mm -hmm. of your house. So you want it to make, make it look warm and inviting and well-maintained. Mm -hmm. um, they talk about outdoor space and backyards and stuff are really fun to invest in, and that's such a big thing now, the outdoor kitchens. Um, but we also live in Wisconsin, and so <laughs> I would caution you to um, use your discretion. Don't get too crazy. Don't you know drop 50 grand on some beautiful outdoor kitchen that you can only use a few months of the year. Yeah, mm -hmm. I remember one thing you said once is for outdoor and curb appeal. Just simply updating the letters on your house can, right. yes. can make a huge difference yeah. when people first come or a to fresh see it. coat of paint on yeah. your front door, making sure the hardware is shining. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. great tips there. Home maintenance is important. Like we said, nobody's going to look at your granite countertops if you got a big <laughs> hole in your room. Yeah, no, right? yeah, right. So make sure that the basics um, are taken care of. It's like anything that, you know, whether it's your car, your house, whatever. Make sure that the basics are, are good and solid and in working condition. Mm -hmm. Okay, how about your basement or a built in theater? So basements, um, are very popular here, right, to finish your basement. I have a finished basement. We were just mm -hmm. talking about that. Um, but you don't want to go too crazy because it is below grade. Mm -hmm. And um, projects below grade are not going to return as much as things that are above grade. Uh, that being said, if you're planning to live in your house for a while and you need that space, you'll get something in return for yes. it if you do it well. Just don't get crazy. And built-ins. Uh, Built-in, like electronics, fish tanks, things like that, can quickly become an eyesore. Because think about how quickly electronics turn over yes. and how much they... So you bought this huge, beautiful TV, and now it's just like this big old <laughs> reminder thick. of... Yeah, oh thick, it's this big. You, <laughs> yeah. you need eight people to carry it to get it out of your house. But no, really. So be smart about um, doing built-ins and theater-style things because... That is something that ages really quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a great point that I wouldn't have thought about. So let's say you want to do a project. You're thinking about how am I going to pay for this? You make some loans available to people specifically for renovating, mm -hmm. remodeling, things like that. Yeah, Equitable Bank has a um, product called the Renovation Mortgage, which is unique to us. Um, we will give you the money to buy a a new home or mm -hmm. refinance your existing home, and we'll give you up to 95% of the loan to value for the house plus the work. Nice. So you don't have to do a separate home equity line. You can go and you can do it all in one loan. It's mm -hmm. going to save you time, money, and it's just easier. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you oftentimes know exactly what you're going to have to put into a house when you're looking to buy it or close to. Right. Well, so. and that's unique, especially for buying. So mm -hmm. you're looking at, you know, it's going to be buying season. It kind of already is, but yes. it's really going to kick into gear soon. And so some people are looking at houses and they go, I really like this house, but Boy, the kitchen is kind of awful. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, get some good contractors in, get some quotes, and, and see where you're going to be at. And if that house can appraise at that, we'll, we'll 
lend it to you that way up to 95% of the loan to value. That's great. So mm -hmm. you can find out more about the renovation loan and more about the equitable bank, get pre-approval, all that good stuff for looking or selling to buy your home. Uh, the equ equitable bank is at this phone number 414-777-4411 or theequitablebank.com for more. Great to see Thanks, you, Rachel. Nice to see you too. Thanks. Thanks.